at Rock Peak Summit. It's maybe three o'clock. Can't see anything. And it's kind of cold. I'm not gonna take my mask off. So the, I, I started climbing all of a sudden two years ago, unplanned. Uh, I mean, I love mountains, I love being in the mountains, but I just wanted to experience the, the thrill, the challenge mountaineering offers. Um, and when I did the first one, I think I just, it's, it's a bit like addiction that you want to climb more and more uh, peaks. One of the main challenge was from the community, um, but when I climbed it, then you know people were saying no, she will not be able to climb it. I then managed to climb it, and then when I planned to climb K2, a lot of I had a lot of resistance and a lot of bad comments that she will not be able to climb K2. K2 is a very technical mountain. She climbed G2 because of luck, but it's just this year, Alhamdulillah, um, uh, when I climbed Everest, Lhotse, people started believing in my abilities, my skills, my experience. Uh, I think this Everest one, I would say that was near death because it was, I mean, the amount of rocks that were falling on us, I if one rock hit my head, it would have opened the, the skull because they were, the, the speed that rocks fall down, it's sometimes even 100, 200 kilometer per hour. I've been able to climb eight peaks above 8,000 meter mainly because of my husband's support. I used to think, what if I don't come back uh, to my kids? Message I always share is dream big and go for the impossible. Go for what people say impossible and make it possible.